it doesn't mean that when you sacrifice and give everything up that God's going to make your dreams come true. Right. That's not what I'm trying yeah, to say, but he will honor you. Yes. Right. He will bless you right. when you are willing to lay down your life for yes. your friends. Right. And obviously when the scripture says that, it's it's I'm not going to lay down and die for all of my friends. Honestly, I'm not. Yeah. I would lay down and die for my husband and for my children. Right. But laying down your pride, yeah. laying down yes. your need to be right, yes. laying down your need to force your own way, yes. um, and that is laying down your life for your friends. The most sacrificial relationship I've had outside of Christ, you know, doing what he did for me is in my marriage. And I know not everybody has um, a spouse that's their best friend, but by the grace of God, I do. And I mean, he really is my best friend. He started as my best friend before we ever got married. Um, but I've watched him honestly more he's taught me more about what that looks like we're both wow. in the music industry but i've watched him be on a red carpet with me and want to be somebody that's celebrated for his work but he's carrying my purse mm -hmm. i've watched him wow. have yeah. a last name that's different than mine and people call him bernie grant mm -hmm. instead of bernie herbs i've watched him mm -hmm. lay that wow. down constantly right. constantly constantly yeah, right. and what i've watched is that then there came a point about 10 years in where it switched yeah. and God was like, okay, I've let you experience this. Now yeah. it's your turn. Yeah. And he's going to actually win the Grammy. You've been nominated nine times and never won. Wow. He's going to win it in the yeah. category when you're nominated at the same time. Yeah. He's going to win yeah. because he's Ooh. been laying the, and it's been wow. yeah. such a lesson. I didn't realize y'all were in the same category. We were nominated oh. against each other. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did y'all sit together? Oh yes. Oh, wow. I said, I never knew you could be equally excited and disappointed yeah. at the yeah. same time. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's real. You can do that. But I was I was so excited for him. But I think for me watching, wait, it doesn't mean that when you sacrifice and give everything up that God's going to make your dreams come true. Yeah, right, right. That's not what I'm trying yeah, to say. But he will honor you. Yes. Right. He will bless you right. when you are willing to lay down your life yes. for your friends. Right. And obviously when the scripture says that, it's it's I'm not going to lay down and die for all of my friends. Honestly, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I would lay down and die for my husband and for my children. Right. But laying down your pride. Yeah. laying down yes. your need to be right, yes. laying down your need to force your own way. Yes. Um, yeah. That is laying down your life for your right. friends. Yeah. And I feel like my husband has really been a beautiful example of that. Making sacrifices in relationships um, without an expectation of getting something in return, in our humanity, in our flesh, it's impossible. The only way to actually do that is to understand our relationship with our Father. And when you come to an understanding of that relationship with God through His Son Jesus, who gave everything for us, and all He asks for back is our love. Like, we just have to accept that that's what He did. And we don't have to work for our salvation. We don't have to do anything to earn our salvation. I think when you come to a true understanding of that, it actually helps to put things in perspective that I can sacrifice in a relationship with my husband, even if he doesn't give me something back that I feel like I deserve or need, or I can sacrifice this in my friendship because it's for the other person's good. And, um, you know, I'm saying that because, yes, that's what we're supposed to say, and that's what sounds good. <laughs> but now, let's get down to the nitty gritty. It can be really hard to do that um, because it's really easy in our flesh to be like we're giving out to somebody and when they give us nothing in return, it can be really difficult to stay in that headspace of I'm doing this because I'm actually doing this for their good, not for my own. And in every relationship, I feel like when the Bible says that every day we have to deny ourselves, take up our cross and follow Jesus, one of the ways that we get to put that into practice is in relationship where we realize, okay, God's actually calling me to love this person in the way that he's called me to love them, not so that I can get something in return, but so that I can just fulfill what it is that he's asking me to do. And the Holy Spirit actually helps us to walk that out on a daily basis. But what I would say is that you have to stay in step with the Holy Spirit so that you can do that and can fulfill it. And when we're obedient, 
to what God asks us to do, expecting nothing in return. The thing is, is that God will always bless our lives for our obedience. Too, that a big part of it, even when I'm listening to y'all talk, is that curse of unmet expectations, yes. of when you actually are placing expectations yes. on someone yes. to meet a need in you. Yes. So even yeah. when you're sacrificing, you're actually doing it get, because yeah, you yeah, think right. you're going to get something back right. from that relationship. And it might not even be, it might be subconsciously yeah. that right. you're doing it. You're mm -hmm. looking for them yeah. to meet mm -hmm. a hole yeah. mm -hmm. in your life. You said something in the very beginning of, you know, I have this with God. I guess I should kind of start having this with people. <laughs> yeah. But the funny part yeah. is, is that I think sometimes people are looking for it with people. Mm -hmm. right. And they forget That's to have it with God. That's it. That's it. And they're actually it. looking for a spouse to yes. complete yeah. them. Yeah. Like right. we were so lied to Jerry Maguire when they said oh in that movie, gosh. like, you complete yeah. me. It's yeah. like, no, right. a person can never complete can you. Yes. And we're sold a lie yes. culturally yeah. mm -hmm. right. that a relationship will complete you, a yeah. friendship right. will complete mm -hmm. you. Yeah. And I do sometimes think, especially as women, yeah. because we have a, this deep emotional need for connection. Mm -hmm. right. And if we're not finding it, we're putting an expectation yeah. right. on someone. And so we start yes. doing more and more for them mm -hmm. and we start getting angrier and angrier right. really because does. they're not right. giving back getting to it. us yeah. what they yeah. were never intended to give right. to us because right. you can only get it from the yeah. Lord. I also think just a trait in women is that we naturally are all things to all people. Yeah. Yeah. We just are. We're the glue, right? I mean, we're glue. You don't have to be married. You don't have to be a mom. If you're watching, right. if you're a woman, you're the glue. Yeah. <laughs> For somebody somewhere, yeah. you're holding you're it together. If you're a woman, you're mothering somebody, according Ex to Isaiah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And that's a part of the fabric of who he's made us to be. Um, but then that gets twisted because mm -hmm. we think we have to be all right. things to all people. Right. Yeah. And yeah. just in my experience, it's a pressure we put on ourselves, but it's yeah. also it just in this whole conversation, it just comes down to the heart. Yeah. Right. Like even the wooing spirit, that idea that you want to be all things to That's all right. people yeah. because right. you want yeah. for right. people to, you want to feel needed. To love me yeah. and, and not that leave you me. Are right. Exactly. Right. And so I feel like this is going to be such a freeing conversation. I can just send it right now for some women that are like, oh, yeah, I, I don't have to do that. I don't yeah. because it will suffocate you eventually. Yeah. And you you're not you're going to crumble under that. Right? No, <laughs> right. and you're just no not good, good at everything. it. You think you are, <laughs> yeah. and you you have. Yeah. There's a sacrifice to saying, I know that when I expose whatever I'm not good at and choose this yes. lane, and most of us have very narrow yes. lanes. We can we can go really long and really hard and fast yes. in that lane, but yeah. it's it's narrower yes. than we think. And I'm sacrificing saying, I know I know for that thing I won't be chosen. Yeah. I'm no, not going to be exactly. picked. Right. They're not going to yeah, call me for that because I have already said I'm not good yeah, at that. Yeah, you know, right. I can show up. I can say, oh, look at this God opportunity. But is it really? Yes. Because am I going to really honor him by saying yes to something that I know I'm not the best choice for? Right. And so there's a freedom in saying, let me just deselect myself because I want to go lean heavy into the thing that I know that God's called me to do. And you have to give that up. And sometimes there's going to be things that look like missed opportunity and it's not. God is saying that wasn't where you were going to thrive and honor me the most. I said that people watching this go, yeah, I was like, it's me. <laughs> it's me. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. And I'm taking notes. I'm like, yes, yes. yes. It's, it's, so it's okay. In. Yeah, sacrifice. I think it just shows so up in all kinds good. of ways. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.